guys, welcome back to my channel and if you are new here then welcome to my channel. I'm Akriti and in today's video we are going to be talking about Lakme's new launch and it's the 9 to 5 natural range. I was waiting for all the products to launch and then review them at once instead of reviewing you know a few products in one video and then the others in another video but they just don't seem to launch them. So here I am with a review of all the products that have already been launched. So I have their lipstick, I have their aloe aqua gel and I also have the finishing powder. So I'm going to save the best for the last which is the finishing powder. Let's quickly talk about their aloe aqua gel. Now this is how the outer packaging looks like and you get the ingredients list on this package. I mean the outer package instead of the product itself and here is the product it comes in a standard jar plastic jar and then you also have a rose gold cap well I mean the packaging looks nice they have really maintained the theme of rose gold and uh, mint green I really like the packaging you know how you have a white protective covering in most of these jar packagings this does not come with that so you directly just see the product inside I will leave the main ingredients of this product on the screen and what those ingredients are supposed to do. However, I do want to mention that this has a very strong perfume fragrance. So I just looked up in the ingredient section and this does contain perfume. If you do not like fragrance or perfume in your products, you will definitely not like it. And this retails for 200 rupees for 50 grams of product. Now let's talk about my experience with this aloe aqua gel. I would say I like it. It's not something extraordinary. It's not a gel which you know transforms your skin or anything um, if you have combination or oily skin or even if you have normal skin you will like how it feels on your skin but if you have dry skin this might feel a little tight on the skin for example right now this portion of my face which is the corners of my mouth it's very dry so when I applied this and I've been using this for a while now so whenever I apply it on the rest of my face it, it feels fine I don't really feel tightness or anything like that but on this area specifically it feels very cracky and tight so I would suggest this for people who have normal to combination skin or oily skin uh, but dry skin this might not suit you that well also if you ask me if this does anything crazy like reducing pigmentation or you know reducing marks um, nothing really of that sort it just provides hydration now not just this any aloe vera gel for that matter whichever i've tried so far just provides hydration on my skin so that's just my opinion um, but as an aloe vera gel which provides hydration if you want to use it that way it's a good one not extraordinary so i would give this a 3.5 out of 4. now let's quickly talk about the matte sticks this one retails for 550 rupees for 2.2 grams of product and this is in the shade rg mauve lane uh, and this is again how the packaging looks like really nice rose gold ombre effect with mint green love the packaging here is how the matte stick looks like and this is the shade right here i'll do close-up swatches and everything don't worry about that now the cap though you really have to shut it tight otherwise this might just you know come off so uh, the cap is not that great but it's fine i mean unless you're shutting it properly this should be fine now, this claims to be infused with aloe vera and honey and maybe because of that i thought that this would be super easy to apply it's going to be soft matte finish or something of that sort but if i do compare it with other matte lipsticks that i have it's not really that easy to apply. You do have to tug on your lips and put a little extra pressure to really get the pigmentation out of it. So that's one thing to keep in mind. Another thing is that it's it has a, a little bit of metallic finish. Now that throws me off a little bit. I don't like metallic finish on me at least. But if you are someone who is willing to you know experiment with metallic finish then i think this would be a great option because it's not crazy metallic it's a very subtle metallic finish so um yeah keep in mind it's it has a little bit of metallic finish at least this shade that i have has metallic finish now coming to the lasting part i cannot vouch for all the other shades but this one does last a pretty good time and it fades evenly i mean it does not you know fade from the inside and i only have lipstick left on the outside that looks horrible but this does not do that it leaves a little bit of stain which i mean most dark lipsticks do that so um lasting wise it does last pretty great now this does transfer like any other matte sticks or matte lipsticks 
you cannot really expect it not to transfer but again since it sets into a more matte finish it does not transfer as much so that's good again uh, I would give this again 3.5 out of 5 deducting the points because it's I mean it should have been more soft and like easy to apply that's one really like I, I wish I wish it had that quality but all in all I do like it go for it if any particular shade interests you now let's talk about my favorite product the finishing powder now this is also infused with aloe vera gel gel, gel and um, green tea extracts now this one uh, is again for 550 rupees for 8 grams of product which is quite less uh, my Bharat and Doris powder that I have I think that has 20 grams of product I'm not sure I'll uh, write it here so I was just and I'm sure that it's a little cheaper than this so when I got it I compared it with that one I was like why is it so expensive for such less quantity but then I mean I thought it's a regular translucent powder or something of that sort that is supposed to set your face but to my surprise it has a little bit of sheen to it I would say if I'm supremely impressed with any of these products the new launches it would be this uh, so I'll insert a clip where I applied compact on one side of my face and I applied this face powder on the other side and you can really tell the difference the compact side looked super matte but on the other side where I applied this powder finishing powder my face looked uh, like it had a beautiful sheen to it so if you are someone like me because let me tell you I am not really crazy about that metallic highlighter effect uh, I do it sometimes for certain looks if the look requires it but on an everyday basis I really don't like to do that it just looks so fake it's not me I don't like it so if you're someone who's looking for a product which is supposed to give you a very natural sheen to your face definitely go for this or if you have dry skin and uh, you're looking for a product which is supposed to give you a glow overall not just you know as a highlighter this would be again an amazing thing to go for i have been using this non-stop i just cannot stop using it it's such a unique product i'm sure a few other companies do make these kind of finishing powders but i just haven't used it till now so for me it's amazing now keep in mind this is a finishing powder this is not going to do the job of setting a heavy duty concealer you will definitely face a lot of creasing if you do set it just with this so i would suggest that if you have used uh, or if you are oily in certain areas go over with a compact which is more on the matte side set it set those areas with a compact and then go over with this uh, just dust a little bit all over your face and you will get the most natural glowy finish and yeah i really like this another thing that i want you guys to know is that you can use this you can double this up as a highlighter for example for now i don't have anything like i don't have a stitch of highlighter on my face i just have a very matte finish going on if i'm glowing a little bit it's because i'm sweating it's very hot um so what i'm going to do right now is i'm going to demonstrate how you can use this or how it looks when you use this as a highlighter so here is the brush that i use with use for highlighter if you're new here it's a paint brush i have a story <laughs> which i might share in another video but let's go for it so here is my brush i'm just going to dip in the product i do want to mention that the packaging is not the most convenient it gets very messy you have to be careful otherwise you might be spilling this everywhere i wish this came in like a mesh thing or something of that sort i know a lot of companies are doing it uh okay let's see so this is the first layer or like the first time i'm going to apply it I hope you guys can see the glow it's very subtle so again this is the kind of glow I want if I want on an everyday basis this is the kind of glow I want I don't like crazy metallic sheen and this comes in again one shade however I do think this might suit I mean this mostly will suit a lot of skin tones even the darker skin tones. it just disappears into the skin 
So that's again a good thing because it comes in a universal shade and if the universal shade has a particular undertone, I'm sure it will not suit um, you know, a variety of skin tones but I hope you can see it. There we go. So here I've just applied it, I blend it and I can just see the sheen, no color as such. So that's again a good thing. So let me go once more on here and see how it looks like. It's quite powdery though. There we go. You can really double it up and make it look a little, um, you know, strong, like highlighter effect. And I love that about it. It's so beautiful. Now this is the side without this finishing powder and bam. <laughs> so beautiful guys. Go grab it. I really like it. I do want to mention that once you layer it up, you can see the silvery, um, tone of the highlighter it's not really the color it's just how the highlighter is it's the color of the highlighter as opposed to the undertone of the highlighter i hope i'm making sense so if you are um, on the deeper complexion i would say just go with a light hand you know just go with one layer and i'm sure that you will not see this also if you're wondering if this looks glittery or anything of that sort it definitely does not look glittery at all and that's another thing i love about this this does highlight the texture just a little bit every highlighter does that trust me like every highlighter does that you can't expect it not to so i would say just go grab it if you have dry skin if you have any skin type and just if you're looking for a glowy product overall product and which you can double it up as a highlighter go get it even though it's a little expensive for the quantity you get i think it's really worth it love it if you love a glowy skin get it guys it's it's amazing i mean it's really nice no glitteriness no chunkiness just a sheen and you can double it up as a highlighter look at this like it's so flat and it's beautiful, I've been loving it. I'm sure that they're going to come up with a few more a gel liner, CC cream or like foundation drops or something. Um, so I will definitely try to do those as well. But I hope you guys found this helpful. Let me know if you guys have tried any of these. Especially if you have tried this finishing powder. Let me know how you feel about it because that's quickly become one of my favorites. So uh, yeah, that's all and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.